What's up everybody, NFX here with another tutorial. In this tutorial I'm going to talk about chord inversion. And I think I touched on this in my uh, chord or chord and or chord progression tutorial. Um, but I wanted to just expand on it a little bit and at the same time show you guys something that is referred to as the epic chords or the epic chord progression. And um, basically what chord inversion is, is where you take a chord chord is normally played let's say three notes with a root note in this case we're going to try uh, C major which is C E and G or we'll play it in a higher octave but when we play it all at the same time that's our chord now the root note of that chord because it's called a C major is the lower note or the C Okay. Now we can invert the chord by taking the upper note or the higher note, which is the G, and moving it lower, down there. So instead of playing, we'll play. Now it is obviously a little bit lower in overall uh, pitch, uh, but the notes, the uh, the actual notes are the same and the chord is exactly the same. It's a C major chord. Um, so, the reason why you would do that might be to change the sound slightly of the chord, uh, but probably the more common reason why you would do that is to make playing the transition from one chord to another chord much easier. And to demonstrate that, we're going to use the epic chord progression to show you how much easier it is to play when we're able to use some chord inversion. Now the epic chord progression is uh, four chords, the first one being the uh, A minor, F major, C major, G major. Now I played all of those straight where the lower note in the chord was the root note. Let's just take a listen without my talking between the, the, the different uh, chords. Okay, so you can hear that has a certain feeling and certain vibe to it. But it's not the easiest progression to play. And the reason is, when we go from the A minor... To, to get to the F, we have to shift down a few notes to get to the F major, that is. So we go from here. You can see we have to travel down. And that's not really that hard, to be honest. But when we're going from the F major to the C major, the F major is here. And my, my thumb's playing on the F. In order to get to the C major, we've got to go... way up here. So we have to go from my hand when I'm playing that has shifted you know all those notes to get my my thumb from the F up to the C. Okay so that's quite a quite a movement. From there we have another movement back down to the G major because my thumb goes from there down to there okay so there's there's my hands just moving back and forth more than I need it to so now let's take a look at that same progression but we're going to use chord inversion on the A minor and on the C major so in order to invert the A minor we take that high E and we move it down so instead of, we get, okay, and it's what's cool about it is it also sounds a little darker because of the lower note in there. Okay, so then when we go from the, from the A minor and we want to transition to the F major, all we need to do is move the thumb up to the F. So from here to there, from here to there. 
So you can see that's much easier than. So let's see, let's just hear that again. Inverted. You can see it's much easier to play. My hand barely moves at all. Once we are at the um, the uh, the F major, we want to play the C major, and we have to do a little bit of a shift there. That's probably our biggest shift. Uh, but what we're going to do is we're going to shift the, the the lower note, which is the which is the F, is going to just go to the to the G. So my thumb only moves one, but my other two fingers need to move from from here up to there which is about basically two notes in the scale each so we're going to go from here to this that's the C major that's inverted remember the C major normally the G would be away up here we're going to play it down there so we go from whoops we go from Now we want to transition this one to the G major, and all it is is taking these two top notes and moving them down. So we go. You can see I'm saving a lot of movement because my thumb's staying in the same note, and just my top two fingers that are playing it are moving from to. So that's it. So let's take a listen to the uh, chord progression one time the uh, the old way. And then the new way. So hopefully you'll see why an inverted chord is very useful. And uh, that'll do it for this tutorial. I'll catch you guys in the next one.